Hello, everybody. Welcome to Townsend 505. And today, I'm going to be doing a rant video. Yeah, very first rant video uh, on my on my sports teams. Uh, I'll, I'm probably going to do more rant videos eventually. Uh, this is the very first time I've ever done a rant video on a New York sports team. Uh, I mean, last year I could have done a rant when I was with the 2024 Rangers, but... 2023, 2024 Rangers, but I wasn't doing sports posts on my channel at the time. But now that I'm doing sports posts now on my channel here, I'm gonna start doing rants. I'm gonna start ranting about about teams that I think are doing terrible right now. And well, nothing better than to do the very first video with the New York Jets. Ah, the New York Jets. Oh, man, the New York fucking Jets. Are they a team that I really fucking hate right now? They are a team that, I mean, I love the Jets. I should prefacize it. I love my Jets with all my heart. You know, I'm a fan of them. But right now, they're pissing me off. I mean, they, they always were pissing me off ever since I started following them. But... The amount of mistakes that's been going into this season so far has just been mind-boggling. Really been mind-boggling. And frankly, I need to just let it all out here because right now it just built up anger for, for the team that has to be let out. Let's start. I mean, let's start by talking about each week again. I mean, I made videos on, on them already, like brief videos, but let's... Go week by week again. Week one against the 49ers. We lose terribly. We lose, oh, God awfully. I mean, 32 to 19. That was a terrible loss, the way that we lost. And, and this was like the first time Aaron Rodgers did a full game. I mean, at the time, I'm like, oh, thank gosh, Aaron Rodgers got a full game. I was just happy with that. I mean, at the time, I was like, "Who who cares if they won or lost?" I'm just I'm just glad that Aaron Rodgers survived one game. Titans and the Patriots. I'll clump into I'll clump week two and week three together. Those were good weeks. Those were good weeks. They weren't great weeks. They were good weeks. We beat the Titans. Oh my gosh, we beat the Titans. Okay, we beat the Patriots. Okay, we beat the Patriots. It's the Patriots. They suck. They're garbage. They're trash. They're ugh, they're terrible. <laughs> oh, we beat the Patriots. We're great. Look, when this isn't you know, uh, Brady Patriots where they were hot like red hot. The Patriots are colder than this fucking bucket of ice. Who cares? Who cares? If we beat the Patriots, oh, whoop de doo we beat the Patriots. So what? <laughs> you know, yes, a win to win. I, I always got to say that. It's a win, win to win. You know, never complain about a win. But people are glazing the fuck out of the Jets. Like, oh, the Jets are going to be a Super Bowl contender. Just because they beat the Titans and the Jets? No, no, no. We were supposed to beat the Broncos. We lost to the Broncos. We lost to them. 9-10. to 10. We didn't get a single touchdown. And this old man Rodgers is supposed to save us? Nah. Nah. No. I mean, we lost 10-9. to 9. We, we had three field goals, and we still managed to lose to them. They had one field goal. And a touchdown. Oh, whoop de doo Like, oh, terrible loss. I mean, it's the Broncos. The Broncos. The Broncos. The fucking Broncos. We lost to. Uh, this was supposed to be a win, guys. This was supposed to be a win. What? 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 <laughs> Ugh, terrible decisions by everyone. Wilson can't fucking catch a ball to save his fucking life. I mean, Rodgers and Wilson, I mean, Will, uh, what? <laughs> like, they're not coordinated. I can't, 
I can't blame Rodgers entirely, and I can't blame Wilson entirely. They're not meant for each other. They're not. It's proven to us already time and time again. They are not proven to be good together. Uh, I, I can't. I can't with, with, with those two. And then and then the Jets against the Vikings game was unacceptable. It was unacceptable. When the Jets were close to field goal range and that fucking coach, which I don't want to talk about his name right now. I don't want to bring up that fucking guy's name. He's like, hmm. Let, let, let's just go for the next attempt. Let, let, let's try to get the touchdown. No. Go for the field call. What are you thinking? Uh, stupid. It's stupid. Stupid moronic people thinking they, they, they did something. They, no, nah, but I mean, they should have fired that fucking jackass like two seasons ago. Not not last season, not in the middle of this season. Two fucking seasons ago, they should have fired that fucking guy. Terrible. The fact that he was still a manager on the Jets now, like in the beginning of the season, baffles me. Like, how do you keep that guy? How do you keep this guy? I mean, two seasons ago, we were up 7-4, and we still managed to choke to make the playoffs. How does that happen? How the fuck does that happen? That is just... Can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> That's just... Ugh. So we fire him now, which that was stupid. Who fires... I mean, every team that fires their coach ends up not making the playoffs. Guess it's going to be year number 14 of not making the playoffs. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid decision. Stupid, stupid decision. I mean... I mean, I'll give him this. The defense is good. Our defense is really good right now. I'll give him that. I'll give the Jets this. Their defense is pretty good. Not as good as last year. I don't think the defense was nearly as good as last year's defense, but defense was good. Defense is still solid. Our offense, though, is terrible. It's terrible. Rodgers just makes these Hail Mary, like, not help. He just makes these random throws. In, like, now let's talk about the Vikings. Let's talk more about the Vikings game. They're like over three interceptions. And this guy's supposed to be the one who's making decisions about our team? No. No. <laughs> I mean, people, people are like, people are like, ah, oh, Aaron Rodgers didn't have to me. Nah, he did. He was like, he was like, oh, this guy touched me. I, I had I had to push him. I gotta fire him now. <laughs> you know, he, he's not aligned to what I like. So they, they fired the coach. Again. Like I said, terrible mistake doing that. Uh, terrible mistake. I, I thought that was like one of the Jets' worst mistakes. Firing a coach mid, like not even mid-season, like early in the season. Just like, uh, let's fire the coach now. You know, let's not do it after after like the many mistakes that the guy made beforehand. Let's just do it now during our season and and just get a random coach now to, to coach – before getting a new one, let's do that. Let's let's not think wisely. Let's do let's make another stupid mistake. Now let's talk about this week's loss against the Bills. I made a video on that already. I was pretty upset. Now I'm gonna really go into them. They that guy that kicker missed over two two uh, field goal attempts. How do you do that? How do you do that? You're a professional kicker on an NFL team. How do you miss a kick two fucking times in a row? Not even like one and then get one and then miss it. Two times back to back that could have at least had a, had a, could have had us in the lead or at least had us tied to go into overtime. No, of course you don't. You, you hit the, you hit the post two times, two times. Ah, terrible mistake. And to cap everything off, they got Devontae Adams, which, you know, whoop de do we got Devontae Adams. He played with Aaron Rodgers. Yay! Ah, Aaron Rodgers, at this point, you're making the New York Giants, uh, the Giants, blah, stupid mistake. You're making, you're turning the New York Jets into the New York fucking Packers at this point, like, just call us the New York Packers at this point, because you have Aaron Rodgers. He's doing all these miss. He's 
lean us in the wrong directions, you know, find the coach and all that. And then they get Devontae Adams like, oh, Devontae Adams, he's going to save the team. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> it's been a while since the guy played with Devontae. Like, my, with, with my with the Jets' luck, Devontae Adams, he's either going to get a season-ending injury or he's going to fuck up it so badly where it's going to be like, why the fuck did we get him? Why did we get him? Like, the biggest problem with the Jets, they 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 take up these washed up stars, they these washed up these these old people basically. Not technically they're not old old, but they get like 35 to 40 year old people. They're like, okay, win us the Super Bowl now. You can't just expect that. Even getting Rodgers in the first place was a big mistake. Like you're expecting Rodgers to, to, to be this all-star player at that age. Like, unless his last day begins with Brady or Mahomes, which I'm not sure how Mahomes is going to be like when he's older, but I, I I would assume he's going to be great as well. But unless those two last names are it, don't expect them to win a Super Bowl. I mean, maybe expect them to make the playoffs, but not a Super Bowl. Stupid mistake. Um, uh, what the fuck's Devontae Adams going to do for this team? Like I said, with my luck, Jets look, I should say. He's going to throw, like, he's going to throw to Devontae Adams. He's going to drop it a ton of times, or he's going to get a season injury, injury and he's going to be like, oh, Devontae Adams is going to be great. And then he, like, royally screws up every game he's in, and it's going to be like, same old Jets, same old Jets. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the Jets go 2-15 and 15 this season. I know it would be mean. I know people are going to be like, Nick, don't be so mean to them. They, they won't go two and fifteen. They're gonna win a couple more. I'm not saying they will, but I wouldn't be surprised if they go in two and fifteen this year. <laughs> if you lose to the fucking Broncos, if you lose to the fucking Broncos, that's like a big red flag to me. You can't lose to the Broncos. You can't do that. I don't care how good the Broncos played that game. You can't beat. You can't lose to them. The Jets are supposed to be a Super Bowl team. They're supposed to make the playoffs, and you're losing the Broncos? Nah, they're, they're not going far. And uh, Well, I've been on here for almost 13 minutes, and I've been really yelling and really screaming, and I'm not I'm not happy right now about the Jets. And anyone who's a Jet fan right now is feeling my pain right now. And, yeah, I mean, I'm probably, I'm probably missing out some other things. I know I, I said the video says everything wrong with the Jets this season, but I might actually change the title to like my problems with the Jets right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to name it that video, but right now, Jets are disappointing me. Uh, I'm going to upload this video tomorrow morning. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I mean, if they if they make the playoffs, I'll make a I'll make a video of me. Apologize for Bruce Be like, sorry, Roger. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. But right now, I'm like, no, the Jets are not. They're not going anywhere, and they're not going to pull a grimace where they're going to have like grimace, like throw the first football or like throw football, and they're going to have like like a five game winning streak or something. That's not going to happen. Let's be realistic here. They're not going to. They're not going to go on a winning streak all of a sudden. They have to at this point, but I doubt it. I doubt it. They're. <laughs> That, that's the, that's how I feel about the Jets right now. They're they're off to a terrible start, and this is supposed to, this is supposed to be an easy schedule for them. It's supposed to be an easy schedule: Broncos, Patriots, Cardinals, uh, Rams, Jaguars. It's supposed to be an easy schedule, but I don't know if they're going to be able to beat any of these teams. I mean, they might be like a team or two, but they're not looking good right now. And again, I'm hoping I eat my words and all that. I mean, I, I had I, there are more things I want to talk about, but I could make this a half hour video. Like I told my friend that I could have, I could make like a half hour video talking about how much the Jets are disappointing this year. It's only week six. It's week six, and I already have a lot to say about how terrible they are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if you love the Jets a lot. I mean, if you're a real Jet fan, you would you 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 would side with me, but yeah. You know, if they win, if they keep winning, they win. But uh, it's not looking good, like I said. I keep saying it's not looking good, and, well, it's true. But 
Um, thank you guys for watching my rant. Uh, almost two in the morning right now, and I, I'm getting fumed up about the Jets. It's not even. It's not, it's like two days after the. Uh, well, technically, it was yesterday for me. Now, what well, what felt like yesterday that the Jets lost, and they're just making these stupid decisions that I'm hating right now. Like, stop doing stuff. Just, just get just get the team you're having on right now. Just get them better. For one, get Wilson and Aaron Rodgers to actually connect with each other. You ever heard of that? Instead of like trading and getting these old people, like. I know Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers were tight. They were tight when they were in their prime. But now it's like, come on, Garrett Wilson's a number one draft pick. Let him let him practice with Aaron Rodgers. Let it let them connect with each other. Don't don't just sideline Garrett Wilson basically and be like, oh, you know, I we we could get you better with Rodgers, but we have Devontae Adams now to we know they're gonna be good together. I don't know. I don't know. Again. I, I'm, I'm going on another tangent. <laughs> I'm going on another tangent. I'm getting the video now. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Sorry.